Kia Welcome to Bus Days. Bit of a crazy time right now. Um, the world's kind of been turned a little bit upside down by this virus. And uh, everything's different now. But one thing that I have noticed has been the same is every morning the sun comes up. And so solar power ain't going anywhere anytime fast. So I've been doing a bit of testing uh, on my panels and uh, unfortunately I, I don't know what's gone on and things are a bit crazy in the lockdown and I managed to have somehow lost a whole lot of footage of the testing I did in poor conditions. Now that was uh, very overcast, um, no, you couldn't see any shadows. Um, and for a part of it raining and uh, it didn't really go very well um, aside aside from uh, really poor results really really inconsistent results um, I did it kind of midday early afternoon so the Sun should have been quite high in the sky it was um, late summer early autumn Sun should have been quite high in the sky, and other than the cloud, the, the significant cloud cover, I thought it was kind of an ideal situation, really, uh, to test the time when it becomes most important to get your um, to get some solar power on those days when there isn't that much sun. And um, the results were abysmal, and not only that, the, they were just all over the show. So. I could be drawing, I could be drawing, I, I don't know, maybe 30 watts from a 250 watt panel and then just seconds later it would be 12 and then seconds later it would be back up to 30 watts. So while I was testing, trying to test multiple ways of charging um, using the same panel, I, I was getting varying results from, from all methods. Um, I was getting consistently about two to three percent better uh, with um, the DSSRs, um, but beyond that, nothing, nothing interesting. Doesn't matter. Lost that footage. So before I end up with another big rambling beginning, I'll get into showing you how things went in the sunshine. So after the first failed solar test I'm doing another one this time in bright sunlight. Um, you can see by how sharp the shadows are. So this will kind of be almost a full power test. There's a little bit of shadow here. It will be interesting to see uh, if that's having any effect. Um, there's a bit of noise going on because I've got all the fans going. I'm trying to get my battery down a little bit so that it accepts plenty of charge. First I'm going to try it in series, which means it has to go through the MPPT controller to cope with the high voltages. So I don't know if you can hear me, but across my series panels I'm running 68 volts. So let's see what happens when I turn on and I hook them up to my MPPT charge controller. Since so turn them on, it is now measuring the voltages, working out what to do with it. And now it's providing some current through to the batteries. Now I can see from my PV1 here it's running at 9, 9 amps or so. Which is about... Actually it's still finding... So maybe it's still finding the ultimate point. And 36 watts. Which actually isn't really that much for two 250 watt panels in really good sunlight. So 
is 12 and a half amps. 12.3 amps. So I've hooked up these in parallel now and I'm running about 30, uh, whatever it is. with no load. Let's run that through the MPPT controller. So that's a little lower. Um, it's more like 11 amps as opposed to the uh, 12 and a half or so I had in the series. Seems to have settled, so we're yeah, talking around about 290 watts. We're about I have just got a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade coming across, so I'm going to move that. Just move them a little bit to get them back in full sun. And yeah, it has. It's jumped up to the 300 of watts, 310. So it's still a little lower. Let's turn that off. And turn on. Um, this. Now this is running through the DSSRs. And I'm actually a little higher. 12.2 amps. Three hundred and twenty five watts. So I will switch it back just to double check. I get a very small window in the afternoon when I can do this sort of testing um, where I've got some decent sun right here. I've turned off all my loads, I've got enough battery capacity to do this testing. It takes a very long time to calculate the maximum power point, um, but it looks like we're away now. It's starting to drop off a touch. So it's running 294, 295 watts. Thereabouts. So that's the MPPT controller running in parallel two 250 watt panels in parallel and I'm getting just under 300 watts out of the two in currently pretty damn good sun conditions. Now I'm going to turn that off and turn on the DSSRs that come with my Electrodacus setup and straight away I'm 320, more than 320 watts. So these are definitely providing more charge. And all it's doing is hooking the solar panels directly to the batteries and then disconnecting them when it's fully charged. Alright, I'm going to switch them back to, so I can get 328 watts, 12.2, nearly 12.3 amps of charge with this setup. So it went on like that for a while, um, I just kept switching between uh, parallel through the MPPT controller parallel direct through the DSSRs 
um, and then series through the MPPT controller. And it was getting reasonably consistent variances. Um, in fact, fairly consistent with those that I got in the wet and, and overcast testing, um, albeit 10 times more power. And the shadow. Tell you what though, these panels are so sensitive to any sort of shade. Now that's 315, 316 watts right now, just from the slight movement. Now, watch this. Boom. Lost 25 watts. Now, That's, that's 25 watts, that ruler, that's 10% of the panel output, well, it's, it's actually only 5% of the potential output of these two panels, which is a ridiculous amount of energy from a little wee bit of shadow. Straight back up to nearly 320 watts. What I don't understand is why the MPPT controller really does like the higher voltage far more than the voltage which is essentially matched to the, to the battery. So back in parallel, pulling just to 60 watts now through the MPPT controller after letting it have a minute or two to settle um, and through and up over 300 watts straight away through the DSSRs. Now I'm starting, the sun's starting to get away on me. It's probably at about a 45 degree angle to these panels. Um, and I'm starting to get to the point where I don't have enough lead to keep it out of the shade of the garage. And the more I take it out of the shade of the bus, the more tree I end up underneath. So it's probably about as useful as that test is gonna be. My, my, my amps will be dropping from here on in, but um, still definitely getting more, getting more in series than in parallel out of my charge controller, um, and even more out of this thing. So, what do we know about that? Well, we learned well, firstly, solar panel testing is not, uh, it's not an exact science. There are so many other factors. I don't know what was going on in the atmosphere today or whether that was a factor. Um, it's clearly very, very sensitive to um, even just a small amount of shadow. So it's not, um, it's, it's not an exact thing. But, but what we have learned is that this baby here the MPPT controller. This particular one is the uh, the Tracer 3215, I think, BN. 3215 BN. So it's 30 amp. Um, in any case, it was relatively cheap uh, to my um, AliExpress video. Pretty cool unit. Definitely works. Um, I've tested it a couple of times now, once at 12 volts and again now at 24. It definitely likes the, the panels in series and performs quite a bit better when the panels are in series than it does with panels in parallel. And I kind of thought that that's, that's especially noticeable in very low light where um, in parallel it just wasn't, wasn't providing any charge at all. Um, but in series, it, it hit the voltages it needed to, I guess, to, to, to provide charge. So that likes, that likes the higher voltage and performs better with it. 
at the lower voltage parallel higher current setup, this baby, this baby here, um, and and maybe it's 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 a it's a tight race. There's not a lot of difference, but there is a difference, and maybe that difference is purely the fancy electronics required in there and the voltage changing that goes on in there to uh, to to run at the MPPT or the maximum power point. Whereas this simply says, look, if you hook the panel to the battery, the panel is going to run at the maximum power point of the battery anyway, because it's, it's, it's a big battery and a little panel. There's not there's not much it can do, so it, it's going to drop to the battery voltage and charge with the maximum current it can it can provide, and that's that's proved itself really really well. Um, Of course, if you go for panels in series, which has other benefits, like the higher voltage means less amps, means smaller cables, particularly when you're running a cable way the up onto the roof of the bus from maybe one end of the bus to the other even, um, it, it, that's quite important. So there's, there are some benefits in series panels. There's a lot, there's a, there's a large school of thought that says parallel is the only way to go. Um, and in, including this guy, but then he's got a good reason for that. He wants the panels matched in, in voltage to the batteries. So, um, at which point the MPPT controller offers perhaps little, if any, advantage. Um, but beyond that, that shadow, wow, that's, that's berserk. I actually did quite a few um, shadow tests. I didn't film them all because I think that ruler pretty clearly proved the point. Um, I did different angles, one row one way, one row another way and things like that to see what impact it had and and the, the, the fact is any shadow, any shadow at all, cuts out so much of your potential uh, power, it's just phenomenal. So you know just a couple of big leaves on your panels are definitely going to have an impact. But now my battery's full again, so time for another load test. That's for the next video. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, like and subscribe and hit all the buttons and do all the things. Um, and hopefully that means we'll see you again soon. Matiwa.